Attic Key 2014 Corvette. Let's get it. All right, we're gonna use this I key. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to we open it up and you just simply snap between this half and the other half and it'll completely open. And of course it takes a 25, uh, 32 battery. So we're gonna put that in. It goes like this positive side down. Installing your key blade into the Alltel iKey Intelligent uh, Smart Key, Universal Smart Key. Um, first thing, very important, guys, you need to have the right tools for this job. As you can see, we got this um, kit. This is available on our website. Comes with a modern style matte finish, as you can see, very beautiful. Um, you just hit this button right here, pops up like that. You can then eject it completely, and the screwdriver's encased in the middle. The button that you actually press, you push down here. And that releases the screwdriver. You then can pull it up. And you simply reinsert it the same way to close the set. I just push back up at the button. And, of course, as you can see, we've got every pretty much every type of bit that you're ever going to need when you're doing any kind of precision work. It's important to have precision tool, guys. Even comes with some tweezers, as you can see here, guys. So for this job, we're going to use the... Um, h 1.3 and of course this is on our website guys globalcommerce.com definitely pick yours up you need to have the right tools for the job quality tools so let's go ahead and insert this and the key blade inserts pretty easily now each i key already has the little um hex barrel in there you can even unscrew the whole thing out but we don't need to you can probably see it there let's see if i can get you zoomed in you see that there and I'm, as I'm screwing it in. So let me go ahead and insert the blade. And I insert it as far as it can go. And then simply just tighten it down. Let me see. I'm trying to get you a good view as well. And there it is. Now I'm going to give it a good... You don't want to overdo it, guys, but you want to make sure it's in there firm. And now um, I can give this a tug, wiggle, and it's in there. It's not going to come out by any normal means, of course. Um, of course, you can break anything that you want, right? But that's not the idea of this. And at this point now, it can insert into the actual I key. There it is. Insert it. And, of course, eject. There it is and ready and we'll just test it on the door so you can see it works as it should store this back just push it in that's it ready to go all right here we've already uh read the blade and we went ahead and cut it here it is let's try it out all right guys first step we want to go ahead and generate the i key uh so once you use the i key you have to generate it for the actual vehicle or the style uh, key that you're using okay so we're going to go here to programmer and key and then we're going to select um, um, universal key and then key generation we're going to pick uh, north america and then we're going to go down to chevy and of course um, we're going to go by model and corvette and there's our year 2014 and we're going to pick uh, the one that matches our existing key as you can see there and we select that one and you need to um, very important you got to have a battery installed in the key it will not work and also you do need uh, 12 volts power connected to the um, uh, programmer if you do not have 12 volts power connected to the programmer as well it will fail okay so uh, here goes the generation process I'm just gonna speed this part up a little bit for you oh, okay all right, this whole process took about a minute and 10 seconds, and then it failed. So uh, here's the error message that you will get if you do not have power connected to your XP400. So we're going to go ahead and connect up. I've got it connected up to my 12-volt source, as you can see there, and the process went smoothly. So it takes about a minute, minute and a half to generate the key, and that's it. You're done generating the key. Yeah. 
All right, after we generate the key, we're gonna go ahead now and go into the emo side on IM608 and we're going to get the pin code. So we're gonna use the auto function to auto detect the vehicle. And um, then we're gonna pull the pin code of the uh, immobilizer. All right, so we're gonna select hot functions. We're gonna select, select add key, guide it. And as you can see, it's gonna do a pin code reading. I didn't plug in the USB, um, but you, you should. <laughs> and it takes a second for it to, it's gonna pretty much cycle the uh, ignition off and on while it's reading the pin code. And it should come up here in a second. And there it is, we got our pin code guys. Tell it okay. All right, then it's gonna clear the DTCs and then we're gonna have to put the uh, key in the slot so we can do the programming thing. All right, on the Corvette, a slot is actually in the steering wheel. Goes here, just slide it in the slot. Switch the ignition off. Configuring system. I got, I got some screws. The both of came from the other rim. Oh yeah. I got that's it. And under the bed, it's been twelve minutes. Yeah. I got it. So I got. All right, the 12 minute wait is pretty much done here. And um, here it is. It's gonna ask us to now push the start button one time. Quick note, when you press the start button this one time, it actually does not turn on the ignition. Um, but that's, it's just to push the button. So you just follow the instructions. And we just did that. All right, now it's gonna turn the ignition on by itself. And there it is, it's on. All right, now it's complete. Um, we're not adding any more keys, so we're gonna tell it no. All right, tells us to turn off the ignition. So we did that. So now it says to hold the button down for 12 seconds. Now it tells us to release the start button. Hold on one second. Long press. Now we gotta do a long press, just holding down the start button to turn on the ignition. Ignition off. All right, now it tells us to start the car. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. All right, now turn the ignition off. All right, so now it's telling us to open and close the driver's door, take the smart key out, and press the lock and unlock buttons at the same time on the remote. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. All right, we have no other keys, so we tell it no, and that is it. Let's test it out. So, unlock, lock, trunk. 
you heard it pop it pop and you should be able to start no problems it's programming 2014 Corvette with the Altel Ike. Click that thumbs up button, like and subscribe if you didn't notice. Now you know, and no one has to battle.